Okay, so first part, science day. It's for learning nonfiction words and new concept and easy ex with easy experiments. Uh, when you teach reading parts and contents, there are two main you know, things. One is fiction, one is nonfiction. When you teach nonfiction, it's not easy sometimes, even though the sentence it's, are so simple and vocabularies are not difficult, but nonfiction vocabularies is a little difficult for kids because one single word includes a lot of information sometimes. So if they don't have any information and back in, you know, just knowledge, background knowledge, they cannot understand a single word. That means they have to know about it. Even though you explain it, they can understand it, but they cannot catch out exactly. So what is good for nonfiction words? If they can experience with videos, if they can watch, if they can see it, if they can touch it, it's much easier to understand. So we call it hands-on learning experience. Uh, it's really useful for students. They can get some you know, information and they can learn the words and then they can understand the situation. So this we say kind of hands-on learning or to-do learning or just the experience learning all the time make their short-term memory. Short-term memory is like, oh, teacher, I understand, right? But maybe two or three days later, they cannot explain it. Just if we ask, do you understand? Do you remember it? Then they say, yes. But we can see the you know, students' eyes. They cannot understand exactly, and they forgot it. So how can it help the students to move short-term memories to long-term memories? It's kind of really important part is repetition, practice, and experience. So this science toolkit for it, experience and repetition. This is really good for learning nonfiction words. So science information, not only teaching science information, they teach real life knowledge. It's connected to science, scientific you know, principles, and then how do we use in our real lives? So they can see the examples exactly through the book. So even this one enhances student thinking skill and then they can get good science skill and then it's kind of real balanced running for science and language. So that's the one. And we call it this experience with a science material and this make meaningful memory and then plus experience. Then we call it episodic memory. And this was really helpful for long-term memories. And the science book has this activity book. So we can call it student book too, but we call it activity book. Activity book includes four weeks and four units. And then you can use this one for a month. And then this is really easy to teach. But even though, you know, all the time, I'm a, I told you I'm a book consultant and teacher trainer. All of the book companies all the time say, this is easy and fun. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you see the demo class, you can see that it's really student friendly and teacher friendly. Okay, it has a first TG, teachers, you know, teacher's guide. Teacher's guide is really simple, a really big one, really big. And then you can see the lesson plan or goals or how to, you know, do it and questions what you have to ask. And the other side of TG, there is a bromide. It's Korean, but they will offer in English. Just this bromide shows the principle, scientific principle uh, adopted to real life. And then they can see it. So if you, after teaching it, after using TG, and then you can put on the wall as a poster, you can see it. So this is activity book and TG. And this science, you know, learning. But sometimes, you know, I, I know for teachers, you don't have a lot of chances to talk to parents, but. Even sometimes if you have to explain to Korean, to Korean teachers or you know, parents, if you have a chance, then maybe you can tell this, one of the best way to learn English quickly and learning from experience is really good for move short -term memory to long-term memory. And then nonfiction vocabulary building is really good with this toolkit and real life English will be built up too. So this is a good one. Then I'm gonna tell you about the materials, what kind of materials and components does it include? It's the first one is a science kit. So science kit is 
as you know, just one wick, one vinyl bag, and then there are four vinyl bags for one month. And then you have only four vinyl bags with a science kit, four kits, and one activity book, and PG. And then they offer flashcards. But I love these flashcards and you know activity cards. Actually, they say activity cards. I call it expression cards. All of the science, you know, science toolkit companies, they offer flashcards. Of course, yes, they do. Even I use a lot. But sometimes I have flashcards, but I have to find out some other. I have to make some other flashcards for my students because they just found. Okay, this is good for flashcard, but sometimes I don't agree because I have to teach some other words for the students because that's not main keyword. Just that they find out some words they wanted to explain for science, but actually for English teacher, okay, that's good science, you know, just flashcard, but for teaching English, considering students' level, but this is not keywords, you know, just the flashcards. But this company, they made a really important keywords, you know, keywords flashcards. I will show you later. And then they made this flashcard with a PPT file too, so you can show it on the screen. And then I print it out this way and fold it and use this way too. But I will show you later why these are real. Keywords. And then not only just to giving keywords card, and then they give expression cards. Actually, this expression card is really good and important. So as we teach students, students are not focusing on science, you know, classes usually. They are really messy and noisy and hard to control because all the time they say, teacher, teacher, help, help, oh, this is not good. I cannot do it, help me all the time, right? But with this expression card, I will show you how to control the students, of course. Then you can control the class and students. Even after experiments, now they are having not only the, you know, just, you know, something like a car or balloon thing made up some scientific thing. No, they will have expressions too. So they can explain what I did exactly with this expression card. So you don't have to worry about what I have to help, what I have to teach, what kind of expression they have to repeat after me. So these four expression cards is the main key point and they're really easy to teach. And then there are extra worksheets, writing worksheets, just extra writing vocabularies and then lining picture and was and connecting, that's all. So I, I will just tell you how to use it too. And then there is observation form. Observation form is there is an empty paper for each unit and then it's empty one. And then after using, after they finish um, experiment, they can complete with the uh, four main ex activity cards and then they can have a presentation too. I will show you everything with my demo class. And there is a PPT as yes, activity book will be offered just with a PPT file. So you can have a presentation on your screen if you have any TV or if you have any, you know, touch screen, whatever, just you can just, you know, show it on the screen instead of a book. Okay. And then these materials and then one uh, activity book has a three main parts. One is storytelling. And second one is scientific information. And then third one is real experiments. We call it science playground. Uh, there are three big parts. And then as, you, as I told you, just there are some extra, you know, just the worksheets and flashcards. There are four extra worksheets and flashcards. And then how can you match those things together? How can you match like this? But you don't have to worry about it to understand about this page. This page will be shown at the end of this seminar. At the time, you will say, okay, good. I can understand it perfectly. We got it. But don't worry about this one. Just to see it now. You don't have to understand it. First, open your thoughts story part. We're going to use flashcards. And optionally, we're going to use a writing worksheet or later or as a homework. And growing your suit parts, so we're going to use flashcards and activity card. Activity card is that 
those you know expression cards so we're going to use those things together and the last part the real experiment at the time we're going to use activity cards with a chant and at the end of the class you can optionally choose writing worksheet or observation report or writing worksheet and observation report can be used for homework too so now you you can go into the class and then you can understand this part exactly one by one okay and then this is the step one book one if you see step one book one uh, okay there are there is a theme based life connection you know topics so what week one two three four so first two weeks balloon badminton i show you the toolkit like this right they can play balloon badminton and then second one is optical illusion thing and then third and fourth colorful blooming flowers and magic coin bank today i'm going to use the sample of week three colorful blooming flowers okay and then first part do you remember the activity book one week has three main parts first one story second one scientific principle last part is a real experiment right this is the first part of a story so when you use this first part just you can just tell the storytelling you don't have to make you don't have to help your student to understand the like as a reading comprehension it's not a reading comprehension just a storytelling thing so let me do it i song and dar song this girl and boy do you know what is i song dar song in korean I song dar song. I song dar song means that's a Korean word. Actually, it's not the name. I song dar song means, oh, I can understand it, but I cannot understand exactly. I I I can feel it, but I don't know what it is exactly. At the time, we say I song dar song. I might know, but I might not know, right? So that's I song dar song. So they they used this expression as you know, girl and boy's name. I song gave dar song paper flower and then just you can show you know flashcard paper flower and flower you know it's flower right beautiful flower and flood it on a plate with water flood you know what is a flood then student might say oh right then flood is if you this is water okay this is my hand water if you put the paper on the water then it's on the water that's a flood. But if you put any heavy thing like a big wood, then what happened? Flood? No, shh, sink, sink. Flood? No, Ooh, water, sink. So you can just show it. And if you put the paper, flood on the water, right? Flood. That's enough, just a flood. And then they can repeat after you, that's one time. And then flood the flower on the plate, a platter, a plate, I'm sorry, my mistake, a plate filled with water. After a while, the patter, you know what's patter? Patter is, you can show a flashcard. I told you, you can use flashcard, patter, patter, patter. If this is a flower, my hand is flower, okay? I have five patterns. One pattern, two patterns, three patterns, four patterns, five patterns, and my hands blooming, blooming. And this is like a flower. And one, let's make a 10 patterns with a flower. Then they can make a 10 pattern flower too, right? So you can explain, they can understand it. That's enough for with this story. And pattern. And then just to spread by themselves, there is so inside a flower, shh, memo, inside a flower. We can see the memo. Can you look at the picture? I hope we can be good friends, right? Can you see the picture maybe? Then they can read the memo. So flower, and then repeat. You can just talk about you know this vocabulary with your student that's enough. What is that? Flower water patter that's enough so you can you don't have to try to do so much so many things with the you know story just to tell the story for your students and then you can get some attention and then they can understand about the vocabularies so use vocabulary and just to flashcards 
And there is one another, you know, main focus of absurd. Absurd. You know what's absurd is the expression, the water drop goes into the skin like that absurd. So water comes on my skin, absurd. It's going absurd, right? Or maybe we can say like absurd and then it's going. It's absurd. Sometimes the tissue, put the tissue, water goes into the tissue, absurd. So we will show it. And then just they can repeat after the wall just several times, that's enough. And then second and third page, there is absorbing water explanation. Absorbing water. There is kind of, you know, kind of a scare arrow button. That's not a button, even though you push it, there isn't any, you know, videos. YouTube's no, <laughs> but you can show it. They can understand with the picture. So this is a scientific principle. And then just you can read it for your student. If you mix, mix, mix flour and water, the flour absorb all the water and then it, then it becomes sticky, sticky dough. Do you know what is the skit? Maybe this time you can teach a sticky, sticky bubble gum song. Do you know the song sticky, sticky bubble gum? Oh, you don't know it? Oh, that's a really great song to teach body parts. Do you know, maybe you can just search it through the, you know, uh, on the, you know, YouTube channel, like a sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky bubble gum, stick your hands on your face, on stick, and sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, and then you can just, you know, you, their hands or nose, they stick somewhere and then they have to unstick. The kids, they love this song. Find out sticky, sticky bubble gum. That's a really good one. Yeah, sticky, sticky bubble gum, whatever. It's a sticky. You don't have to show. We don't offer these you know, materials. Just you can show it with a book. But if you wanted to do extra you know, experiments and then if you wanted to show real example for your students, just you can bring some flour with water. I did it. But if I, when I was young and green, I was really, really, you know, just an energetic teacher. I wanted to show everything to my students. Every time I prepared too much, really too much in my basket and I carried in, I was really busy to do it. But at the time I brought, I, I brought some, you know, flour, Inside of the classroom, I gave, I made some, I pour some water. I asked the student, yeah, touch it, sticky, huh? <gasps> All messy. They put their flower on their clothes and hair and everywhere. Classroom is messy. I had to help the students to clean it out. I was silly. <laughs> but if now I do, if I ask to do it, I bring, you know, vinyl bag and I put some flour in it and pour some water and then I will close, close it and then I will ask the students to mix it outside. Then maybe they can touch it, they can see this sticky things and even they can see the flour and water mixed well, right? Even we can, I can pour some color water, they can see the color changes too. So if you wanna show it, maybe you can use that way. So student can say mix flour and water and flour absorbs water, flour absorbs water, then that's enough. They can just repeat after you. They don't have to memorize it, just to chance to know about it, that's enough. Second one is if you put a white t-shirt in a container with red colored water, don't bring your white t-shirts and don't dye. <laughs> just you can cut a piece of paper if you wanna do it, cut piece of paper and then you can use the paper t-shirts or tissue that's enough if you want to show extra ones for your students for fun then that's enough so white t-shirts absorbs red color water and then they can say white t-shirts absorb red color water they can learn absorb that's all okay they don't have to read the whole sentences they can understand it? No, just so they can see what's absurd. They can make a short expressions with you. That's enough. Third one, cup with water, empty cup, right? Cup with water, student will gonna repeat after you. Cup with water, an empty cup, water moves, water moves, uh, this way, right? <laughs> this way, cup with water, empty cup, 
what I moves, that's enough. And then you can read the sentence for your students just to get the focus and student will repeat after you with the expressions, that's all. And then they can understand what? What did you study now? Yes, absurd. So student can repeat absurd, 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 absurd water, absurd, that's all. The student have to understand about what's absurd. And then last part of two pages, there is a question like, what will happen if you drop some water on the edge of tissue? Then students say the water will spread out the tissue. Why? Because absurd, absurd, that's all. They can repeat many times. And then there is idea sponge, Mr. Uh, Genius Dr. Dokto. Then there is extra information, but I read all but sometimes it's too much or a little difficult for teachers and young learners. So if your students are real young, then you don't have to, you don't have to teach this part, you can skip it. But some students, they really wanted to know about it, they are smart enough, then just you can give more information this part. So you can choose skip or get uh, just, you know, give more information with this part. And if you wanna do one more thing with the story part or here, just so you can talk about water with your students, talk about water. So <laughs> somebody's walking, I can see it, yeah. So just do water, what do you do with water teachers? What, what can you do? What do you do with water? Do you use water? Yeah, that's right, drinking. We drink water. Ah, give water to the plants. Okay, good. Oh, so smart, huh? <laughs> okay. And we can wash. We can exercise. We can exercise, right? Even, you know, we can make, yeah, right, <laughs> exercise, right? Exercise. And then we can wash. And we can make energy. We can make energy. And we have a lot of things to do. Then where can you see water? Where can you find water? River, rake, home, water tap, and water tap, and snow, rain. Student might say many things, right? So you can talk about water with your students. And they can talk about water. Before reading, you can start about it too, or in the middle, it's up to you. So second, two parts, two main parts. First, the story part. The second part is just, you know, scientific principle, right? So you have to use flashcards, but I show you now like activity cards, expressions. So after scientific principle, before real experimental, just you can use this expression card, activity card we call it. And then you can teach a chant now for your students. Before you start the experiment, if they practice short expressions with a chant, and then when they start their experiment, and then they will just understand the contents very easily. Okay, let's do it together right now, okay? What is the first one? Add some water, add some water, add some water, add some water, add some water. Okay, good. Second one, fold the paper, fold the paper, fold the paper. Good, real folding paper, I love it. Yeah, thank you. Fold the paper, fold the paper. Fold the paper, good. And third one, put the paper, this is water. Put the paper on the water. Put the paper on the water. And now flowers spread out. Flowers spread out. Flowers spread out. If you wanna do it, this one is okay too. Flowers spread out, yeah. <laughs> Whatever, just you can decide any gesture and then student can practice it. Add some water, fold the paper, put the paper on the water. Flowers spread out, that's standing, right? This is like a musical. And then we can go into the experiment. They practice enough just so they can dance and then they can chant and then go into the, you know, just to real experiments. The first part, just we can show the science materials. What kind of materials are you gonna use? First one, clear plate, take out clear plate. And then they're gonna say, okay, take out your clear, clear plate. And they'll say clear plate. 
Okay, put it down. And paper flowers, paper flowers. And put it down. And then you have to give water, right? And then water, and then they're gonna say water. And then even not, instead of, you know, materials, you can use a flashcard too, just to. Flower, water, you can use flashcard. And then they check it after they go into first step. Do you remember they practice chant, add some water, add some water to the plate, add some water to the plate. Now you can start it, right? Then they can chant it. Normally, if you have to give water, young learners, very young learners, they cannot add some water by themselves, right? You have to help. That means they have to wait. What happened? Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yeah, ah, now water, please. <laughs> right? They are talking and punching and fall down, picking. Something happens all the time. But you have to make your students wait and study together. Then you can ask your student, okay, now teacher will give add some water. Then you have to chant, add some water to the plate or add some water to the plate. Do you chant and wait? I will go and give water to you. And then they have to chant continuously during the time teacher give some water. Or higher level students, maybe you can give one small bottle for three or four students together. At the time they have to you know, share it, they have to wait anyways. Then at the time, anyways, they have to just to see friends doing what, what they are doing. They can recognize with the exp expression, add some water to the plate, add some water to the plate. If they do it around 10 times, they, you, maybe you can give all the water, students can give, you know, water by themselves, right? So even they don't have to talk. If they have a question, just they can raise up their hands, like add some water to the plate. They, they can raise up hand, but they have to chant anyways. Then you can control the whole class. Add some water to the plate. This first part, short, just add some water to the plate. But normally the science direction is really long. So that's the reason we need the expression card because fold the petals of the paper flowers in one direction, one by one. They cannot read the whole thing. Even though they can read the whole thing, they cannot remember the whole thing. So fold the paper and then you can change it. Fold the petals, fold the paper, for the patterns, one by one, one by one, just they can repeat after, right? And then they can fold the patterns of water. I fold the patterns, fold the patterns, fold the patterns, one by one. Students, suddenly you can say one by one, then students stop, and then they can say one by one, one by one. And okay, fold the patterns again, fold the patterns, fold the patterns. They can enjoy it. And then they can repeating, then they can recognize what they are doing exactly. So they can recognize what's going on. And then with the, you know, just the activity cards. So for the patterns, one by one, one by one, right? And third part, put the folded paper flowers on the water one by one. So put the paper, put the flowers on the water. So you can change the paper to flowers, it's okay. Put the flowers on the water. That's, that's enough, one by one, one by one. Students, they love the expression one by one, right? One by one, one by one. And then just to take an express. Third part, uh, fourth. But this is explanation and direction. So they wrote like this, observe how the paper flowers spread out on the water. Observe. But what is the expression card? Flowers spread out. That's kind of a student focus, student's explanation focus. So student just explain it. Flowers spread out, right? Then it's like teacher, first two, I did do. Water, add some water. Second do, both the paper. They're gonna say it like that, right? And then fourth, put the flowers on the water and four flowers spread out. They can explain in this way. They never say, observe how to paper flowers snow, right? So this expression card is, you know, for students' expression, really. 
So after using this expression card, you can review again with the expression card. What was the first step, second, third, fourth? It's like a story sequencing too. And then they can remember what was the step one, step two, step three, step four. Then they can chant, add some water to the plate, fold the paper, put the paper on the water. Flowers spread out. They made their own story, right? They can remember it. Now they can review vocabulary and expression cards, and then they can have their own science you know, materials. This is writing worksheet. Do you remember I showed you writing worksheet first when you start the class or at the end of the class, right? So you can choose is optional. Some students, they need this writing paper to recognize the vocabularies at the first. But the other students, they need at the end. If you don't have enough time, just you can send it as homework. So it's really optional. You can use it. If you don't need it, you don't have to use it too. It's optional. If you have extra time, you can use it during the class time. No time, then send it you know, home as homework. Parents will like it too. This is a writing worksheet. And I showed you this is observation report. Observation report is empty paper. And if there is another paper, student can cut four steps of expression card, and then they can paste it. And then they can say, it's like they can hold this, you know, observation report, and then they can have a presentation. Uh, first, add some water. Second, Fold the paper. Very easy, right? Like say so third, put the paper on the water. Finally, flowers spread out. They can say they can have a you know, short presentation. Maybe you can use this observation report individually or group work. With four, three or four students can cut and paste it together. They can have presentation together, like a singing or chanting or you can send it for homework too. And then they can review it, they chant it, maybe they can do it in front of a parent, they chant add some water and then they can paste it. Parents will love it to do it again. So you can use it anyways. Or if you have an open class, open class parents come or sometimes they see it through the video and the student can just have a presentation they have a good class management, like they chant during the science class. After one science, they can explain about what they did, then you know they will like it. So you can use this form for many different, you know, various ways. So can you see the bottom part of the observation report? There are some sentences. I can see petals. I can see petals spread out. I can see petals blooming on the water. The student can trace the sentences, what they have to learn. I can learn part, but you can change it too. The first observation report for each unit, they have some sentences they can trace, but there is another form, empty observation report form you can print out, it will be offered, then nothing. That means if your students, they are not very good at learning sentences, then they can write only you know, keywords, four keywords, or you don't have time. Or if you wanna change it to your own sentences, you can change it, or just they can write down these expression cards there too. So if you wanted to follow the form, the company offers, then you can use it. If you wanna change it, then use this empty observation report form, okay? Nothing, no sentences, no words, bottom part. So you can use this one. So very simple and easy. So after, yeah, finally, I came back to here. So there are three main parts of the activity book. Open your thought story part, grow your thought principles, and third part, science playground experiments. And then how to use the, you know, extra, you know, worksheets and flashcards things. And then you can add the flashcards, writing worksheets, and then flashcard activity cards over the observation report this way. So first flashcard using with a story and then scientific principle flashcards. And then after a scientific principle, before experiment, they have to practice activity, a chant with activity cards. 
And then during the experiments, and then they have to chant with ex activity cards continuously. And then at the end of the set class, optionally, you can use work, writing worksheet or observation reports, or optionally, you can send them to homework too. Now you can understand clearly this page, right? Okay, this is the one, how to use all the materials matching together. And then just I will show you book step two, just the step three books, and then I will just to try to finish this seminar soon. And then step two, and of course they offer, you know, flashcards with the keywords, and then story parts. I told you, you can use that flashcard those flashcards and then telling the story, okay? To explaining inertia thing, move or stay. And this is inertia. And then just you can ask your student to stand up and feel it when the car is moving and suddenly stop, then you can, you move back and then like that. So they, you can help your student to, you know, feel what's that exactly. And then just before we go into this, you know, uh, experiment, they have to use, you know, activity card. Of course, they offer activity cards. And then just you can go. Ah, before we go to activity cards, do you, I can give you one extra, you know, tip for activities. Like when you use the expression cards and activity cards, you can print out big, it's good. But sometimes you can make a very small too. They love it. So Wonjangnim or so uh, just the supervisor at the time ask you might might be, but make a big flash cards, make it clear. No way, not all the time. As my, as I experienced, if you make a very tiny small thing, student try to see it. What is that? It's your small. I want to see it. They, you can get more concentration too. Then you don't have to give flash cards all the time. Student can make their own flash cards. Give a small piece of paper, very small. You can give only small, this, this is small too. It's okay. Small piece of paper and then ask a student to draw it. Coin bank, draw it here. Inertia, something just you can, inertia, except inertia may stay, move or a flower pattern, make your own flashcards. And then if they finish making their own flashcards and then put the cards on the desk, you know, scatter them out. And then you can ask Christina, okay, pick up the picture of a flower. Then they pick up the picture of a flower. Pick up the water of flower. Then they have to find out what, okay. F-L-O-W-E-R flower. They can just do the activities. So they can make their own flashcards. It shouldn't be big. Small piece of things can give more attention sometimes. It's nothing, but like this is small. This is expression card actually. Expression. I printed very small. This size is this. My ear. Yeah, very small. So don't try it. Uh, don't try to make everything big. If your one name and supervisor asks you, because this is a really good teaching skill too, to make a small flashcard sometimes, we can get students' attention more. So use it. And then the other one is, do you remember the was flower and water and what else patter right so help the students memory skill after learning some vocabularies they forget it even though they understood it they cannot use it it's not for this science class maybe this science class too for any other classes memorizing vocabulary remembering or memory skill is really important for your students right because there is another tip like if I show one finger, this is flower. What is this? One finger, flower. One finger, flower. Two fingers, patter. Two fingers, patter. Three fingers, water. Okay? One finger, what? Flower, patter. Flower, patter. And water. Got it? Okay, tell me now, just to see the finger. Are you telling me right? <laughs> so flower, patter, water, patter, flower, water, 
water, petter, flower, flower. So this is kind of a memory game. I call it this a brain-based running and student can use their information. When you teach all the time inputs, you can show these flashcards and activity cards. They can see and tell, but that's input skill. But when they have to output some information, then you have to use something without, without textbook, without books, just today, you can connect to something else. Like if you don't want to use fingers today, just to point, if I point ceiling, ceiling, then that's flower. Or if I just raise a right hand, flower. Okay. Petter. Two hands, water. Okay. Can you tell me now? Memory game. Even they can make sentence with this one. So for output practice for vocabularies to help your students have a better memory skill, then don't use a flashcard, don't use book, teach without books. And then just to connect to something else, they can use their memory. Then that's really good to practice. Like, okay, they can make a sentence like, what, what was that flower, right? Petter, petter, water. Then they can make each sentence. It's a flower. It's a petter, it's water, it's a petter, it's a water, right? Even if I just to show this one, this it's a sentence, but if I just to move shape just in a wave, then you have to make a they are like it's water, they are flower, it's a, it's a, it's a flower, they are flowers, they have to use their brain, they are busy, they don't get bored. So when they get bored, they feel like, I know it is easy, simple, because I don't have to think, I can repeat after you, that's all, then I get bored, right? But if they use their brain, they are busy to think, they never get bored. So make your student to think and do something all the time. That's really important. And then expression cards for step two, and they can practice it and they show experimental materials and then step by step, see a lot of directions, right? And see the expression cards. So that's showing the focus of what teacher should do it. So it's kind of lessen your burden, right? And then they can focus on the expression card. And then they can see there are four, three, four steps. Even see number four, can you see? That's the direction, watch them go down. That's watch them go down. But what is the expression card? The coin goes down, the student's expression, right? So you can see the differences with the direction and the expression card. And then they can practice it again. This is a step three, higher level. And then this is a moving picture animation thing, it's, you know, for March. And then themes, stories, and there is a real adoption to real life. Okay, what kind of this animation things or moving things adapted to real life where we can see and find, and then they can see and experimental. One, two, three, four, five, but just to, the you know, company offers only four expression cards, okay? And then they can focus on. And then this is the one, and this is the end. Was it helpful for you guys? And then you, can you understand how to use the science day well? Okay, that's good. Thank you. And then thank you for joining. And thank you for seeing. So there is kind of an email address. You can ask any questions, you know, extra questions you can ask me. Or even though I couldn't show a lot of activities today, but I uploaded a lot of Koreans, but there is one or two, three, four, three, four, you know, activities. You can watch it on my YouTube by using, you know, magic toolkit. But even though that's magic toolkit, even though you don't have that magic toolkit, you can adopt it to your classroom. So if you wanna see any extra activities, then you can see my YouTube channels. There is English version EN, then you can get some ideas, I think. And then if you, uh, I hope you can enjoy with it this science day and have fun and be healthy and be safe. And then hope to see you sometime in person. Thank you. Do you have any question? Okay, okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.